Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads are determining the product of inertia of the cross-sectional area with respect to the x and the y axis. This problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics and statics 13th edition by RC Ibella. Product of inertia I sub xy is equal to integral of xy dA. If we use the parallel axis theorem, Ixy is equal to Ix prime y prime plus dx dy a, where dx is equal to x squared. This is the centroid location of um, the uh, cross sectional area from the reference and uh, dy is also the central the location of uh, the cross sectional area from the reference right so let's now define our shape this is a composite cross section so for me i will define this i will have my first cross section uh, part my part one it will be this one here like so and then I'll have this other one like so and I'll have the other one like so All right then um let's now define this uh, geometric properties like so the mid span there like so and this one like so and then we have this one like so and then we have this one like so what else let me also define this okay right okay so there we go something like so something like so something like so something like so so let's call this y killed one we call this part one we call this one two we call this three so this is going to be equal to uh, 400 plus half of 20 therefore this just becomes equal to 410 y cal 2 y 2 this is just going to be equal to y cal 1 and this is also equal to 410 then this one is x cal 1 and this is equal to so this one here um, is half of um, 20 and is 10 so this just becomes 10 plus uh, half of 100 and this just becomes 60 so this one here is x killed 2 which is equal to x killed 1 and is equal to 60 home and area one is just equal to area two is equal to hundred by twenty this is equal to two thousand area three is equal to 
um, 8, 40 by 20, and this is just going to be equal to uh, 840 by 20. This is equal to 16, 800. Right. And our i x y is just going to be equal to i x prime i prime plus dx dy a. Our dx is just equal to x count. Our dy is equal to y count. All right. Let's define. Our values let me uh, move this maybe a little there like that okay so what do we have so here I'm going to define my um, I'm going to define my parts I mean they are, I want to use the table to define to fill them in with the information how many parts do I have three to three and then plus the last one which is the summation okay so there we go we have that okay two three Four, five, six. Okay. Right. So here we have part so one, two, three summation. So this one is uh, the local product of inertia. We have dx, we have dy, we have a, we have dx, dy, a. So for product of inertia, we can have a negative, okay, local product of inertia, we have, oh, so we can have a negative product of inertia, we can have a positive product of inertia, so this can be either be negative, product of inertia can either be positive, or product of inertia can be zero and this happens when either either x or y passes through through the symmetry the symmetry of the cross section area okay and therefore uh, the parts for one, two, and three, all these are going to be zero because um, x or y passes through the symmetry. Like in this case here, x and y passes through the symmetry, uh, and also this one. I mean this one here, and also this one there. Okay. And then the x1, which is x uh, positive, x2, x2 is minus 60, and x3 passes through the symmetry is 0. Okay, y1, y1, positive, uh, the other one, y curl 2 is negative and this one it is 0 uh -huh. 
area here is 2000 the other one is also 2000 then 3 is 16800 product is 0 then the other ones is 16 by 14 by 2000 and this gives us a 4 9 um a 4.92 times 10 to the power we count 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay let me write this so this one is 49.2 times 10 to the power of 6 and so is this also okay therefore sum of this sum of this just becomes a uh, nine eight point four times ten to the power six is everything okay i think so everything is fine so 60 by 14 by 2000 okay all right so therefore moment i mean product of inertia just going to be equal to um summation of ix prime y plus summation of dx dy a this is just going to be x0 plus 98.4 times 10 to the power 6 and therefore ixy this is just going to be equal to 98.4 times 10 to the power 6 millimeter to the fourth so this is the final answer this is the final answer um, and i hope this particular video was helpful i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was uh, give me your thumbs up or like my video continue subscribing and uh, sharing my channel bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.